Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for this day, Tuesday, April 28th. I'm Dan Gutman, the pastor of Zion Lutheran Church, and I'm so glad that you're here with me. As always, we're uh, going to be using uh, this book, Common Prayer, a Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals. Uh, you can purchase the book, hardback, paperback, or Kindle version on Amazon, uh, or you can download the app for free in both uh, uh, Apple and Android, uh, for Apple and Android devices. However you're joining me, or whenever you're joining me, let us begin. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I greet the Christ in you, my sister. I greet the Christ in you, my brother. A reading from Psalm 133. Oh, how good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It's like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion, for there the Lord has ordained the blessing, life forevermore. I greet the Christ in you, my sister. I greet the Christ in you, my brother. Albert Luthuli, who struggled nonviolently against apartheid in South Africa, said this, It is inevitable that in working for freedom, some individuals and some families must take the lead and suffer. The road to freedom is via the cross. Will you pray with me the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we pray we never find ourselves without hope, without a glimpse of the empty tomb each time we happen upon a cross. Help us begin our daily journey expecting both crosses and empty tombs, and rejoicing when we encounter either, because we know that you are with us. Amen. And now may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you. Wherever he may send you, may he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Thanks for joining me this morning. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and I pray you have a great day. Bye-bye.